My name is Jim Hyde. I'm the uh, owner of Rawhide Adventures and the director of the BMW Off-Road Academy. 95% of the planet is unpaved. Here in the Western world, we're pretty lucky, but in the rest of the world, dirt roads or trails or worse are commonplace and the way everyday people get about to deal with their lives. So if you want to travel the world by motorcycle, you have to get comfortable riding off-road. The BMW Off-Road Academy is one of nine places in the world that owners of the GS class of motorcycle can receive training to make them comfortable off-roading rather than riding on the street. Our facility is 120 acres of land that's actually owned and operated or used with the BMW Off-Road Academy. We have a little bit of everything from a terrain standpoint that the, the GS rider will need to learn how to ride on. These motorcycles are very capable. They're designed at the factory to travel the world. Here in the U.S., 90% of the people who own this class of motorcycle don't ride off-road. They just use them as commuters. They, they go to the office, they go out for breakfast on Sunday morning, they stay on the pavement. They don't completely utilize what the bike has to offer and we'd like to change all that. In order to give people the confidence that they need to, to ride off-road on these big heavy bikes, we have a stepping stone curriculum. We start off with really fundamental exercises and we try to get them comfortable just using the clutch. And then from there we'll add brakes and then we'll add shifting and then we'll add turning and skidding and stopping and everything. Each exercise builds on the prior exercise and what we find a lot is people will say, you know, when I got on the bike this morning I was so nervous just riding it around your arena and then we started focusing on the next drill and the drill after that and we forgot that we were just kind of riding around the arena and suddenly after an hour we go back to what we were doing an hour ago and terrified and it's no big deal. It's like magic. The exercises that we do are cl clearly designed to increase a rider's comfort level. But there's some other elements involved. Typically, the people that come to us are street riders. They've spent most of their life as a motorcyclist riding on the street. And that's a, in relative terms, a high speed thing. It's you know, 50, 60 miles an hour on the streets or the freeways uh, or more. And riding off-road is a much slower endeavor. And in order to ride off-road comfortably, you gotta have great balance. So all of our drills focus around one thing, maintaining perfect balance on the bike. Once they've got the balance down, then we start adding other elements. The key to the success of any school is the type of people you have as instructors. And I've got an amazing and wonderful group of guys. Uh, they're energetic, they're enthusiastic, but the key is that they're just regular guys. They're not retired racers. They're not people that uh, know about this sport at such a high level that they can't relate to the average Joe off the street that's scared to be here. Um, these guys all went through that themselves. They're all hobby riders that love this sport and have good communication skills. What our clients should expect to leave here with is a toolbox of skills uh, that will enable them to do whatever it is that, that they've told us that they want to do. We have people come to us because they're primarily street riders and the thing that bothers them the most is they're just driving along through a national park somewhere and suddenly there's a zone of the road that's under construction and for three miles they have to ride through deep gravel. That's their only goal. We want to give them the tools to be able to enjoy their, their, their street ride more with the confidence in the back of their mind that whenever they hit that section of road under construction, they can deal with it. The rest of what they can expect is, is a fun, engaging, uplifting, fulfilling experience. They will eat well, they will be exhausted at the end of the day so that they get a good night's sleep and they'll go away absolutely thinking that it was the best money they ever spent on a motorcycle.